Hello everyone, welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky, or not Weekly Cooking with Becky. A little twist coming today. So, what I did today is I went to a gas station on the way home called QT. You can go to probably any gas station. And I went looking for low carb, healthy living, keto, dirty keto, lazy keto, paleo, diabetic friendly snacks. People um, worry that when they go on a vacation that you stop at a, a fast food or whatever and you just cannot eat. I will do a fast food one for you sometime, but I wanted to show you just a few finds from a gas station, our local gas station, and then tell you of some things that I didn't pick up. But one of the first things is, we have probably all heard of vitamin water, but I just want you to catch on that this is zero sugar. So the big thing here is, is it low carb friendly or keto friendly? And when I go to the ingredients, it is stevia leaf extract, which means it is both low carb, keto, paleo, you name it, whole foods, healthy living. You get your electrolytes and you get vitamins. So yay, get yourself one of those to drink. I did not pick up, but feel free. Get an iced tea, unsweetened, get diet soda, um, if you're a low carb or that's not keto, but get a diet soda, um, zero calorie drink. Something else I didn't pick up was muscle milk. It's a protein drink. It works for low carb, not keto. I didn't pick up the things that we don't drink here at home, but vitamin water is one thing. Something that is huge now in the stores is called super coffee. In fact, I haven't had one and I'm going to start drinking it while I'm talking to you. But super coffee, you're away from a Starbucks, you're away from whatever, you cannot drink the canned Starbucks. It's loaded with sugar. It's loaded with carbs. Uh, the Dunkin' Donuts brand, any of the cold food ones that they have in there, you cannot drink. This has two net carbs, and you'll see at the bottom, my daughter's kind of doing this, but you'll see at the bottom it is even keto approved. So it is keto, low carb, lazy, all that kind of stuff. Um, healthy. I was going to take a sip and actually, because I've never had one, and tell you if I like it. Um, you know, my daughter's doing the videotaping or I'd ask her for her nails. Okay, so at the store, they had, the, what I got was vanilla. They had vanilla, caramel, and mocha, and they had it in regular coffee, and they also had it as espresso. So, this is no sugar. It's sweetened with what's called monk fruits. So, oh, I shake it up and there's another label. Okay, that's all right. But I just want you guys to know that if you need caffeine and you're trying to stay away from artificial sweeteners, go with a super coffee. Oh, that is really good, guys. And it even says it has 10 grams of protein, so it'll fill you up, it'll give you protein. I'm gonna keep drinking this afterwards. You want chips. But you can't have chips. They're a no-no, it's white flour. So they have these, they even have these in other flavors. This one is gonna be keto, low carb, paleo, as you see, zero net carbs. I actually need these for tomorrow night's meatballs. Um, I have to smash them up and use them as fake breadcrumbs. So if you didn't know that, you can use them as breadcrumbs and recipes, just run them through a food processor. But it also satisfies a chip craving. So, pork rinds. Near a checkout, anywhere, you will find almonds, cashews, peanuts, um, different types of nuts. Of course, depending on the bag, will depend on whether it is healthy living, paleo, low carb, keto. I will tell you this one is a low carb. It comes in at three carbs because I bought it flavored. If I would have bought it unflavored, it would have been for me, but I thought my husband might like a smokehouse flavor. So this is actually for my husband. And then, lots of, lots of different things. This one is either for my daughter or myself, or maybe we'll share. Pepperoni and cheese are, are totally low carbon keto all of the way. And they're cold, put them in your lunch, eat them, protein fills you up. It's in the cold section, it's right there, just grab it on the way out. Another thing that is in the cold section, these salad kits. Make sure you're going for Cobb salad or Caesar salad. Take out the croutons, please. 
but have everything else. And the carb count on this one is four for a Caesar salad. So have yourself a meal, don't worry about it. Also in the cold area, you can buy two eggs. Add a little salt, eat your eggs, or do what I'm going to do tomorrow. And actually, this is something I have at home. You may have heard me talk about these before, low carb tortillas, carb balance. So I'm gonna make an egg salad and I'm gonna use that as my bread tomorrow. So that's easy. Every gas station sells cheese sticks. Literally, there, there's no need for you to go off your diet on a vacation. I was walking around and looking at the chips in the cookie area when I found both of these, which are both in low carb and keto living. These are Quest cookie bars, chewy chocolate, and oatmeal chocolate chip Quest that's a bar. One's a cookie, one's a bar. Anyways, those are both there. Um, I'm gonna show you one last thing. This is for my daughter. She'll, she'll be happy when she sees it. But uh, a really, really, really huge dill pickle. Those of you that are keto low carb, guys, these are electrolytes. In fact, the juice, the pickle juice, they say if you ever feel dehydrated to drink pickle juice. I don't know how many of you guys knew that, but oh. it's good for you. Um, but anyways, a big old pickle. So that's what I grabbed. Let me just tell you, there was Greek yogurt, there was cheese, there was salami, uh, hot dogs, uh, pull a sausage on those little turntables. Uh, just keep it bunless and you're good to go. Like I already mentioned, iced teas, diet sodas. There is literally no reason why you can't take a vacation and stay healthy too. So this was not a cooking video. This was more of a what can you get when you go out and you didn't prepare, but you're hungry and everybody wants ruffles. You get your own chips or everybody wants soda or everybody wants coffee. You guys, you can go anywhere and you can still be healthy. Now, please in the comments, let me know next week if you got, or right now, if you got value from what I showed you, I really hope you guys did. Um, don't let going out destroy you. You can go to fast food restaurants, you name it. It just takes a little tweaking. So let me know if you guys got value from this. And then next week, let me know if you want a savory meal plan or if you want a dessert. And if you want a dessert, I'm gonna split it into two categories. So I either need to know a savory meal idea. And if you want dessert, do you want it to be a no bake dessert? you're hungry and you want it quick a no bake kind of dessert or something where you do bake like brownies or a cake so please leave me comments on that and thank you for stopping by and i hope you have a great day i'll see you next week